We bring men to Ukraine. Who does that, for goodness sake? We bring guys to Ukraine to give these women an opportunity. You are frequently the first foreign guy that they've met, or one of the first. I mean, she's 25, but it seems like the maturity level is, you know, 30, 32. Right. You know? right. Uh, they're, and they're all intelligent over there. I mean, they've all went to the universities. And, uh, uh, I mean, you can uh, have a great conversation with them uh, over just about anything. I mean, they're so knowledgeable. talk about two things that you didn't know about Ukrainian women because many 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 of you are interested in Ukrainian women many of you are interested in women from everywhere else and that's okay we'll get there eventually but right now we're gonna talk about two things you didn't know about Ukrainian women and actually we gonna talk about a number of things that you didn't know about Ukrainian women because I'm gonna tell you two categories right I'm gonna tell you some things that Ukrainian women really hate just so you can get to know them, just so you can understand the culture. And then I'm gonna tell you some things that Ukrainian women really love, really important. So what do Ukrainian women hate? What do they love? I'll tell you right now, something you probably didn't know about Ukrainian women, they absolutely hate how they're portrayed in the mail order bride industry. They really hate the whole idea of we're all poor and desperate, uh, we're trying to get out of our poor and desperate third world country into America, we'll marry absolutely anybody to make that happen. There are so many of us, we don't mind your behavior when you come to Ukraine, you can act like a jackass, that's okay. Just come to Ukraine, we're so desperate, we'll date you, we'll sleep with you, we'll marry you, uh, we'll do all of that very, very easily. And the way this industry portrays the women in Ukraine, I can tell you for a fact the women in Ukraine absolutely hate it. But the women in Ukraine definitely know our intention, our approach. You can see right now, this is a pretty classy party that we're throwing, and there are a lot of women there, way more women than there are men. A lot of the times in Ukraine, we're getting eight, nine, ten times the women coming to our social events than we have men, right? But we create a pretty nice environment for them to come and be relaxed. There's plenty of refreshments for them. In July, it was warm. It was, you know, all of Europe was going through a, a heat streak. It was amazing, honestly, but there's plenty of champagne, juice, refreshments, some great entertainment, some great clients to meet. It was a very, very fun social event. And they understand that we bring men to Ukraine. Who does that, for goodness sake? We bring guys to Ukraine to give these women an opportunity. And when our guys meet the women, when you get on the plane and you go with us to Ukraine or anywhere to meet these women, you are frequently the first foreign guy that they've met or one of the first. great interest and you're very, very intriguing. It's just the whole marketing in this industry that there are tons of women they're all easy, you know, they'll basically do anything to make a guy happy to get out of their country, et cetera, et cetera, all of that nonsense. They absolutely hate the way they're portrayed by this industry and I don't blame them. We do our very, very best to treat the women with tremendous respect and we put forth, uh, you know, a, a great effort, a tremendous effort compared to a lot of people out there, that's for sure, and the women certainly recognize that. They hate the idea of, of being thought of as poor and desperate, trying to get out of their country, trying to get a green card. I did a seminar on Saturday here in Phoenix, one of the first 
question somebody asked me is, why are they so desperately trying to get out of their country and get a green card and come to America? And that's completely ridiculous. It really is. It, it's interesting that that's such a popular comment, such a popular idea out on the internet, but it's, it's a popular idea that's driven by men who just don't understand the culture, who have never been to Ukraine and just look at this thing from a very slanted point of view. You know, they don't like the idea that they're, they're projected as being, you know, women with no expectations. They'll marry anybody. They'll settle for anything. That definitely isn't true either. Women in Ukraine have expectations. We've been talking about some of the things that women expect, right? They want a healthy-minded guy. They want a good guy who's emotionally balanced, someone who has good relationships with his friends and his family, someone who likes his job, somebody who's definitely romantic, a little bit playful and spontaneous, someone who's definitely family-oriented, monogamous, et cetera. Those things are very very important and quite frankly they want to be attracted to their partner they're not going to date somebody they're not attracted to marry just anyone. The idea that they will just marry anybody, again, they kind of detest that whole stereotype. They don't like the idea that they, they have no problem with the numbers game, right? That they're presented as the women don't mind if the guys come to Ukraine and date 30 women. They have no problem with that. Uh, that's not really true. And, and to be honest with you, the women would much rather come to a social where there were 30 women and 300 men. They would, if the truth is being told. But that's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And men will come to Ukraine. They've come a long way. You know, the men are visitors in this country and they will date a few women. I don't know if they'll date 30, but they'll date three or four or five or seven or something like that. They'll do it with respect. Some dates are just coffee dates after all, right? Some dates are just coffee. Some dates are dessert. Some dates are bowling and pizza. You're having bowling and pizza a couple of times. The women definitely don't like the idea that this whole industry is, is, is selling the numbers, right? There are millions of lonely women trying to meet somebody and they're all poor and desperate and they'll marry anybody just to get out of their difficult you know life circumstances the whole idea of they want a better life and that's why they're here I believe a number of them do want a better life but I think front and center in that whole idea of a better life is I want a guy I want a guy to lean on I want I want a guy to give my love to who's loving me I want that love relationship to be the center of my life experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at bornaffair.net. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.